Hi guys, welcome back. This is only going to be a very quick video to bring you guys up to date with the channel because obviously there's hardly been any videos coming out just recently and also bring you up to date with me. What's going on? Right, so let's start with me. I had the scan, I've had the results. What has happened is in my spine, I think she called it L4, but anyway, it's part of the vertebrae. It is giving one of my nerves a good pinch. That's basically what's happening. And that's why I've got burning sensations going down my legs, into my feet. It's mainly now on the right side, but I can get it in both, which means that both sides are pinching. So my spine is bulging slightly, which is not good, obviously. Now, with that being said, um, it's it's serious enough that they've put me on some more medication, but it's not over serious. So in other words, I do not need a operation, which I'm very thankful for. I didn't really want to have an operation, if I'm honest with you. But what they've gone and done now is they've given me some other tablets. I'll get to those in a second. I have an appointment with the physio. I'm actually quite surprised it's going to be the 23rd of this month so I've got to sort that out with work. I've also got to go and see the pain relief centre. These are the people that would actually give me a steroid injection in my back to help it heal. But like I said more tablets and oh, the pain relief centre that could actually take 12 months. NHS unfortunately there is always a backlog but that's where we are so what am I on well I'm on naproxen I have to take two of those one in the morning one in the evening I'm a triptyline so I'm on those I actually am supposed to take three tablets before I go to bed if I take three tablets through the week I will not get up it's as simple as that these buggers put me to sleep, but don't keep me to sleep, but I feel groggy in the morning. So I'm taking two of an evening through the week and then three at the weekend, which is why one of the reasons why there's not so many videos coming out because the weekends when I mainly do it because I haven't got time through the week and I'm getting less and less time because I'm lying in bed longer. Now, the new tablet that they've put me on, I call them happy tablets. It's gabapentine. G sorry gabapentin now this is basically a narcotic um they've told me it is addictive but what it'll do is and look it up if you want <laughs> it, it's also designed for people with ep epilepsy of which i haven't got uh, and some of the side effects are very scary in all fairness but what this stuff does is um, I think it allows me to operate properly through the day. What I've found is that um, after being on that drug now for more than 24 hours, what I find is that the pain almost goes away. So um, I was feeling a little bit high at first, a little dizzy, which is all part and parcel. Um, but if, the, if I find that the drug is no longer working for me at all, I've got to tell them and they're going to put me on something stronger. So there you have it, happy tablets. <laughs> Right, the channel, what's been happening? Because of the pain that I'm in, I've not been able to get as many videos out. But also what's happened recently, as you all know, I, I love my Mac. I've got a Mac, a mid-2012 Mac Pro 5.1. In fact, I'll tell you the specs now, because it's not Mac, it's not maxed out, but it's get it's getting there. So I've got two times. 3.46 gigahertz, 6 core Intel Xeon. I've got 96 um, gigabytes of RAM. 96. You can max this thing out at 120. 96 is more than enough. And the graphics card that I'm running is the Radeon RX 580 with an additional 8 gigabytes of memory. Now, all sounds great, all sounds impressive. In fact, that the storage as well, the startup disk is a 500 gigabyte SSD. Uh, the rest of it is, I've got a three terabyte 
a six terabyte, a four terabyte, if you like, SATA hard drive. And on top of that, I've got a one terabyte SSD as well. So I'm mixing a little bit of old and new. But it all sounds great. Oh, yeah, and it's a fantastic machine. I love it to death. But the operating system software is now that old on it that there is a load of stuff that just won't work. For instance, Streamlabs stopped working. So I was having to do a live stream using OBS. And that recent live stream that I did only went on for nine minutes. No, it didn't. I, I was recording it, as far as I knew, for over an hour. You guys only got nine minutes of footage. So I've had to update the operating software and I'll probably do a video at it some at some point. I'm now on Catalina and I've used Apache basically to allow me to get that updated on my unsupported Mac. I think it's a crying shame that Apple don't support the older Macs. I really do. All, all, all they've got to do is just allow us to update it. This machine easily runs Catalina. It'll actually easily run Big Sur, Big Slur. I know that. I know that for a fact because it's a monster of a computer and it will outdo a lot of the modern computers you can buy today. It's that good a machine. But they have to cut the ties somewhere, don't they, Apple? And... Well, it's like phones in it. When it's outdated, they don't want you to carry on using it. They want you to buy a new one. Well, I don't fancy spending nearly 13000 on a new Mac Pro, in all fairness, because that's the computer I'd want to get. So I've managed to get that updated to Catalina, and it's working fantastic. The problem, though, <laughs> it's caused me updating is I've got all the new... Uh, OBS, I've got all the new Streamlabs on there and it now looks totally alien to me and with my editing software that I, uh, that I use I've actually lost everything so I'm going to have to start uh, my channel intros and everything right from the very beginning and it's going to take a bit of time so I'm actually off today which is Monday and I'm off tomorrow which is Tuesday so hopefully I'll get something done and I'll get some videos out and that's it guys that's where we are um hopefully i'll get some letters through soon about physio and i can start doing that asap and uh, in fact yeah no 23rd i've already told you um uh, 23rd is when i start in physio i'm on about the other one the pain relief I, I really don't want to wait 12 months but it is what it is so that's where i'm at so as always you lot Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. I'll catch you lot all again. Take care.